Now I'm ready to start adding um, my Photomotion figure on top of the background. What I'm going to do is hold down the Apple key and hit tab and jump into iPhoto where I have all of the images that I took earlier. I'm going to grab the uh, mid shot that I took and open it up in Photoshop by dragging and dropping it onto the Photoshop icon. Now there are a number of different ways that you can extract an image from um, a background like this. Um, you'll notice that under the eraser tool over here there's an object called the magic eraser tool. Uh, you can change the tolerance of um, the eraser up here in the options bar. I suggest something around about 30 and when you click um, it pretty much gets rid of uh, most of the background in the image. You'll notice that um, there are um, a few um, you know um, things left behind but it does a reasonably good job. You may have to go around the edges and just clean them up slightly like that. Now while the magic eraser tool can work fantastically uh, for some photos it's not going to work particularly well for this one because unfortunately I had to take my own photograph uh, and ended up sitting it on top of the refrigerator and hitting the um, hitting the timer and, and running and standing in front of the wall so as a consequence the, the lighting in this particular shot ain't so great. So what I'm going to do is show you a, I think a much more effective uh, way to extract um, something from a background like this. Uh, it's the, extraction, uh, the extract tool um, in Photoshop and you can get to that by going up to the filter menu, dropping down to extract and then you're presented with this dialog box. Um, now there are a number of tools that you need to be familiar with here. First of all, um, the Edge Highlighter tool. Um, that's the one that's uh, selected by default when you open up the Extract filter. And what you need to do is trace around the edge of the object that you want to extract. Now the more carefully you do this, the cleaner the extraction is going to be. So I'm going to be using um, a few different tools here to make sure that I trace uh, nice and clearly around the edge of this object. Um, first up, I'm going to grab the um, zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on part of this image. Um, to move the object around, I'm also going to be using the hand tool um, and that'll let me scroll around um, as I trace the object. Now. In Photoshop, as with a lot of other applications, shortcuts are really handy. Um, and the shortcuts for selecting the um, Edge Highlighter tool is B. The shortcut for selecting the uh, Zoom tool is Z. And the shortcut for selecting the Hand tool is H. So instead of going back up to the um, toolbox here, I'm just going to be hitting those shortcuts as I trace around this object. Now, I'm once again making the um, the brush larger and smaller using the square bracket keys and I've found the most effective way to trace around an object like this is to click once, hold down the shift key and click again and that way rather than having to trace around an object freehand um, you can click around reasonably quickly following the straight edges um, of the object. As you can see the uh, lighting on this photograph is terrible. Um, but using the extract tool I should be able to um, get a reasonably clean extraction. Uh, once again I'm going to grab the hand tool and scroll over to the other half of the image and keep tracing just very closely, very close to the edge. Now what I'm going to do is um, jump ahead a little bit here um, so you don't have to watch the entire painstaking process. Now with the neck um, we're going to be adding the head separately um, so feel free just to um, lop yourself off at the neck. Now that I've finished tracing around the object, I'm just going to grab the um, fill tool. And what this does is basically um, tells Photoshop which area you want to keep. Um, so you need to fill the object once you've traced around it. I'm going to go back to the zoom tool, hold down the option key, and zoom out so we can see the whole image. 
and as you can see I've traced around the edge with the edge highlighter tool I filled it with the fill tool and now fingers crossed I'm going to hit OK and we should get a reasonably clean extraction that looks pretty good you'll notice around um, the arms and the bottom of the image um, it's a little bit rough so what you can do to clean that up is grab the eraser tool go up to the options bar and select a soft edged brush um, and just touch up the edges of the image um, slightly so you can remove that roughness it's already done however a much more effective job than um, the background eraser tool and the photo I was, I was working with wasn't terrific to start off with so um, let's just imagine that I've touched this up a little bit and I'm ready to drop it into my photomation what I'm going to do is simply move this window to one side grab the layer with the um, extracted torso on it and drop it into my other document once again to uh, transform this object I'm going to select command T it brings up these handles and I'm going to make this because it's a caricature an impossibly thin um, figure um, sort of down in the left hand corner here like this um, once I'm happy with the changes that I've made I'm going to hit enter and there we have my torso and next up what I'm going to be doing is um, once again holding down uh, command tab jumping into iPhoto and taking the neutral expression um, the very very first um, photo that I'm going to be um, using as the basis for my animation I'm going to open it up in Photoshop and I'm going to perform a very very similar function to uh, what I did earlier um, except this time I'm going to be extracting um, the head from um, this particular photograph I'm going to go up to filter extract grab the um, edge highlighter tool once again use the square bracket keys to increase the size of that press uh, the letter Z to um, magnify part of the image and what I'm going to do is uh, start to draw around this now when it comes to the chin um, I'm going to draw fairly um, generously around this because I'm going to cut it out more precisely a little bit later on so I'm just going to uh, draw very very generously around here and then um, continue up here and oops. of course if you make a mistake at any stage um, you can grab the eraser tool or press E and rub it out and keep going so what I'm going to do is just draw very very carefully around the edge of this and once again I'm just holding down um, the shift key and clicking at various points um, and that saves the effort of um, drawing around completely in freehand we're going to jump ahead a little bit so you don't have to um, watch all of this Now that I've finished drawing around the figure um, and I've filled the area that I want to keep uh, with the fill tool, I'm just going to press OK and I should get a pretty clean extraction. Now um, that's actually a remarkably good extraction. What I'm going to do just because I want to get a little bit more precisely around here um, is I'm going to actually grab, um, because I sort of have a squarish chin um, I might grab the polygon lasso tool and just draw around like this clicking at um, appropriate places to um, select my chin or select the area beneath my chin and I'm going to hit delete and there we go now in order to put this into my photomation document once again all we need to do is go up to the layers palette here drag it and drop it over here once again we need to free transform this hold down command T and that'll bring up um, the handles where you can reshape the image now as opposed to my body I'm holding down the shift key as I transform this uh, so that uh, so that um, my head doesn't uh, look freakishly out of proportion well you know not so much freakishly out of proportion and I'm just going to 
put it in position and hit enter. 